but they're on the channel. We continue our G.I. Joe and Transformers unofficial crossover with Night Force Tunnel Rat on Way I Got It Figured. The way I got it figured. What's up, classified fans? Way I got it figured back with another G.I. Joe classified review. This time we're looking at number 107 in the G.I. Joe classified series. Night Force Tunnel Rat. I picked Night Force Tunnel Rat up at Hasbro Pulse. Uh, he came, you know, he became available again there. Um, he's been actually available on Walmart.com for a while, uh, but you have to have, you know, you have to make an order of thirty-five dollars to get free shipping. And me being kind of a cheapskate when it comes to shipping. I'd rather, you know, get it sent to me for free via my Pulse membership than to have to buy $35 worth of stuff um, that I don't necessarily need um, on on Walmart. So I went ahead, grabbed Tunnel Rat uh, when it became available at Hasbro Pulse again. And um, I'm sort of shooting him out of order. Uh, because numerically he comes before Shadow Tracker and Wolf Spider, um, so I'm trying to trying to be as numeric as I can when I can. Um, so you know, it's probably going to go 107, 108, 109 before it turns into something else. But uh, but he's here, and he is uh, pretty good. I like him better than the original Tunnel Rat already um, so we're going to get into it as we always do uh, we're going to look at the package look at the figure spotlight his accessories do a couple of comparisons to get you out of here with some final thoughts so first off of course starting with the packaging night force tunnel rat um, so he's got his Full gearing, and he's walking down some kind of mine shaft. And you can see the dark energon in the background. Of course, you got your Night Force logo and your uh, different artwork of Tunnel Rat. His loadout, which is, you know, in form, the same. Uh, pieces, the same parts that the original version of Tunnel Rat comes with. Larger picture of his box art. QR code for whenever that's going to work, if ever. And on the back, you've got the tail of the tape, 5.9 inches. And all of his accessories, which are again identical to the original, but he's got new uh, detailing here in the insets. And then you've got his file card symbols, just three ordnance, two light weapons, four explosives, and four siege craft. There you go. Looking at Tunnel Rat himself, of course. Um, yeah, I have him fully geared up here. Even more geared up to the picture on the box. And, uh, you know, this color scheme just, just works better. Um, in fact, I think it works even better than the original Real American Hero version. Um, his pants were like a light gray in the real American hero and he had a black shirt. Um, but it seems like they gave him a lighter gray pants on the original version and the darker pants on the Night Force version. And in the Tunnel Rat video, I did 
you know, broach the possibility that I would switch these guys out. But I'm probably not going to do it because honestly, they'll probably make a retro card tunnel rat or something and then he'll be like exactly the right colors. I'm tired of like Hasbro like fooling me into buying things I don't necessarily want to buy. Um, I decided to go Night Force. You know, I didn't want to buy Tiger Force. I've mentioned that several, several times. Um, if I was going to pick one, I probably would have picked Night Force. Um, I'm, I'm out on Slaughter's Marauders or Mad Marauders. You know, whatever they're calling them these days. I'm not getting those at all. You got to draw the line somewhere. Um, and I sort of draw the line at Night Force. And I've kind of have Love's dog kind of bought the Tiger Force guys. Um and even as I shoot this, you know, I don't know, it's like stupid. I feel like kinda like guilty about it. Like did I really need those guys? I did you know I bought them anyway. I mean then that's their job. The job is to sell you toys to get you to buy things um that you may or may not need. Some people are completists, they want every G.I. Joe classified figure. I'm not that guy just kind of want most of them and they're making guys that I really liked um, back in the day or, you know, newer characters that are just cool figures. So, you know, they, they definitely know what they're doing um, and they're doing a good job at it. But back to Tunnel Rat himself, I just think this one looks a little better. Um, you know. I mean, main tunnel rat is main tunnel rat, but, you know, I don't know. If I was going to be doing action figure photography or, you know, stop motion G.I. Joe Adventures or something, I probably would use this tunnel rat to be to be quite honest with you. Um, so, yeah, he's a great figure. And uh, I'm not going to go all into the articulation and everything because you already know what that is. You can check out the Tunnel Rat video if you want to see that. I'll put a link to it in the description. And, uh, yeah, it's all, all old hat, new deco. Let's get to some comparisons. All right, so for comparisons, of course, the first most obvious comparison would be OG Tunnel Rat. I think he's like number 84, something like that. 87 maybe. And Night Force Tunnel Rat. And again, if you look at the pants and the shirt combinations, you know, the opposite pants on the opposite torso. Looks more like the a real American hero version, and you know I I have thought about swapping them, but to be honest, I just have a feeling they're gonna they're gonna make a another tunnel rat. I guess I don't really have to care about that, so I'm gonna, I'm, I'm I'm gonna think about it. I might do it when I look at it. It just looks. More like I remember the other way. Um, so, you know, it's not like I don't know how to take Joe's apart now. But, you know, we'll see. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not committed yet. Then, uh, for our other comparisons. Bring in his other Night Force teammates. There's Jody Shooter Craig. And I'm really not that far off from my original colors. Night Force Big Ben. 
there you go for some comparison action see how they look together and we'll even put them all in the same frame since they're all on the same mission so to speak You know, and they do look they do look pretty cool together. You still got Wolf Spider to go. And uh we'll see see them all all these guys again in the very near future. There you go. We'll move on to final thoughts. Final thoughts on G.I. Joe Classified Series number one oh seven, Night Force tunnel rat um as i said at the beginning you know i like them better than the original uh tunnel rat number 87 and uh he's you know they're both great figures i gave um the normal tunnel rat a nine i'm gonna stick with that nine here for night force tunnel rat the way i got a figured rank so um, he's not any worse, obviously, than the original Tunnel Rat. I like him a little bit better, but it's, you know, it's subjective. It's not like he's actually better. It's just, I just like this color scheme better. So I'm going to stay with the 9. Uh, he's a great, great figure and a cool variant. I may still swap the legs just to get that uh, look that, you know, that nostalgic look. I hate to use the word nostalgia, but... It does play a part, um, but I don't know. If I do, I'll do a, a customization video uh, for Retonal Rat. Uh, but I'm going to leave it there. Uh, like I said, he's a great figure. So if you're uh, going to stick around, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. How do you feel about Tunnel Rat, uh, Night Force, or otherwise? Which one do you like better? Uh, let's 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 keep the conversation going. And uh, until next time, I'll see you all on the next video. Everybody, stay safe. Peace. The way I got it figured.